Well, hello all. So, it's been a while since we've done a peak oil update. Now, finding information that corroborates with other information is almost impossible. So the numbers that I'm going to throw at you are just sort of entertainment numbers. They could or could not be right. I'm not sure. You just can't tell with the oil business. It's all about deception, market ma manipulation, uh, trying to steal your fellow producer's oil. It, it's just this game of just crap. But there is some major developments around the world of oil production. Let's go see what I found. Oh, by the way, if you find anything else, let me know I'm wrong or add to it, whatever you want. This is about peak oil and your participation is very much helpful to get the proper perspective on it. So world oil production was down from 87 million barrels per day down to 82 million three hundred and eighty nine thousand barrels per day worldwide so world exploration is down by 20 percent so 2019 saw 28 percent fewer wells drilled and found 50 percent less oil so because the drillers aren't making much money or breaking even or even losing drilling wells just is no longer profitable non OPEC production was down to 36,000 barrels per day in February. Let's go look at a few countries and see what each country, whether their oil production is up or down. So Canada from January 2013 to present saw continuous up and downs except for April uh, 2016 saw a big dip in their oil production but since then it's been kind of wobbling up and down but in a basic graph is up so out of the ones I'm showing you Mexico has seen a drastic drop in oil production since 2013 of January back in September of 2017 they had another major drop of oil but they got the production back up. Then it went down to almost 1,600 barrels per day. But it has creeped up just slightly from there. Okay, next is China. That's an interesting little story all on its own. Their peak was between 4,400 per day and 4,200 per day. But that's where they sort of rode, was in that area, until July of 2015 when they went off a, a cliff down to 3,800 barrels of oil per day. And then they went off down even further to 3,700 barrels per day. But now they're back up into the 3,800 barrel per day range. Okay, next is Russia. Now, Russia was hard to figure out because there's the Russian graph and then there's the EA, EIA graph. The two have a discrepancy, but this is roughly how Russia has been looking since 2013. They start out between 9,900 barrels per day in 2013 and they go from there. Kind of a bumpy road, but in general it's in the up direction until around September of 2017 when theirs went off a cliff and then it's slightly going back up because of tight oil and all that but once again it's diving down somewhere around 10,700 to 10,800 barrels per day. Russia claims that they're at about 11,300 barrels per day somewhere in there. So let's go to Norway. Norway is a mess. They started out at 1,550 barrels per day, but then it went like a yo-yo, up and down, up to their peak of 1,800 back in September or so of 2016, and then they crashed way down to 1,300 to 1,350. I thought I'd give them a little bit so that it would show some movement, but it's kind of flat right there at present. So let's go to the UK. Now the UK never did produce much oil. 
but back in 2013 of January, they produced 800 barrels per day of oil. Then it kind of wobbled back and forth up to a thousand and went all the way down to just above 400 barrels per day. Then it came back up and kind of did the up and down and did another low down back in uh, January of 2018. And then it's gone up since they started doing fracking to over 1,100 barrels per day. You will see that go off a cliff once they run out of shale oil. They notice that they're destroying their countryside. They may look up and stop the fracking. I don't know. The U.S. didn't. So let's talk about the U.S. Back in January of 2013, they were at 7,700 barrels per day. Then they peaked back in March of 2015 at 9,500 barrels per day. And the old September 2016 saw a decrease in oil back down to about 85 or 86, 8,600 barrels per day. But then came fracking and they saw the oil production go up to 12,000 barrels per day. But there's a definite decrease in oil production because it just isn't profitable. That means shale oil isn't profitable. No matter what they do to it, they just can't make a profit with it. Okay, and last but not least is Saudi Arabia. So, Saudi Arabia, we go back to 2015. We find that they're somewhere around 9,600, 9,000 500 barrels per day. They kind of dip down for a while and then they shoot up to almost 10,700 barrels per day where they stay for a few years. Then they hit a big flat downwardness in 2017. Then they kind of limped along about 20, almost 2018 when I guess the fracking began or whatever their special uh, thing was and they brought their production to 10,800 or higher. But then they went off a cliff, and now they're down to 9,895. Now this is the last country that's actually using the real oil. They haven't even started fracking. They don't even know if they have fracking oil. But as far as right now, Saudi Arabia is going down at a rapid pace. Okay, so where does the pink think that peak oil started in 2015. That's where I think we are. Something like that. I think that uh, peak oil basically hit in 2015 and has been on the peak up and down. A lot of nations are down, some are up. But overall, the production probably slightly down. And now it's starting to look like that. Now, fracking may bring it up again for a while, but eventually this puppy is going like this because we used all the fracking oil in this section here, which could have lasted maybe a little bit longer to try and make this better. But right now, its production is all that matters. Pump it all out now. So there's our update for peak oil from where I see it. Now you guys might have different numbers than this. It's just a general kind of a update. It's not take it absolutely detailed. But the numbers are close and the overall look is that the peak of peak oil is beginning to run out in my opinion. What's your opinion? Tell me yours in the comment section. Now as many other alternative news and politics sites are putting out is that YouTube now has a new algorithm where you'll see on the right side that there are no longer suggestions from anything other than corporate sites pretty much NBC CBS ABC you won't see hardly any alternative sites over there anymore that's because the new algorithm has removed it from being 50 percent alternative to 50 percent corporate now it's 80 percent corporate 20 to 10 percent alternative. They plan on zeroing that out. So what you need to do is whatever your favorite site is, go share, comment, maybe like it, whatever you can do to it to promote it. But sharing is probably the most important. Second would be commenting. Third would be giving an up or down. Doesn't matter which way. It's participation that they're looking for. So as I'm losing my voice, very foggy, cold, drizzly out. But I will continue. 
and until next time.